Hey YouTube, what's up? Uh, I have another modification to do now. I've already got, I've already done this. Um, I've upgraded my stock diverter valve with a go fast bits diverter valve. Um, but I'm upgrading that one to the ATV diverter valve, which is that one right there. I, I don't think it's going to really... I don't think it's going to really do much of a difference. The components itself is exactly the same. The only difference is it's going to give me that whooshing sound. That's about it. Um, yeah, performance wise, I seriously doubt it's going to do anything different. I just, I actually like that sound. That's why I'm going that way. If I, if they had that out at the time when I got this, I don't know. It never really popped up when I was searching. So then I saw a video on it and there you go. So, I went ahead and spent the money and purchased this one. Like I said, even if it does not do any performance difference, I don't care. As long as it doesn't decrease the performance, I'm golden. And if it gives me that whooshing sound that I like and I want, even better. So uh, very simple process. So that is, let's see, there it is. That's black area right there and there you can see you can only see the plus but there's my diverter valve and uh the go fast bits diverter valve there and what i'm going to do and it makes your life that much easier is removing your turbo piping and it's just three allen key nuts pop it out and there's only one way to actually install these things there's no wrong well there's sorry there is a wrong way but if you do do it the wrong way it, it doesn't work anyways like the, the nuts the holes don't line up so you can't screw it up there's just no way to screw this thing up so anyway so i'm going to get started and uh uh well all well, my other videos you've pretty much heard what it sounds like there is no wishing sound so when i get this thing installed i'll start it up and then we'll hear what it sounds like all right guys so i got it out so there's uh that's what's actually attached to the car this is my diverter valve that i had installed that goes on top, slides into the motor. There's the new one. So there's the difference. Essentially, it's the same size cylinder. It's exactly the same, but here's where, I'm gonna call it the hybrid. That's where uh, the air will go into the atmosphere. I don't understand, and I'm not gonna claim that I know, but I know that in these cars, the air is recycled, so it, it doesn't go out to the atmosphere. So how this actually works, it looks like it would release air here. Does it release all of it? I don't know. Like I said, uh, I saw one video. I heard the sound it produces, and it does sound like it's a blow-off valve. But I know that when a car is manufactured, you don't really want to screw up uh, or screw around with if it's uh, a diverter valve or a blow-off valve. Because well, the car's made that way, so to recycle. So this is where it gets concerning, uh, performance-wise. So if it releases into the atmosphere, am I going to lose performance? I don't know. I am going to take the car for a quick spin and just see it, and I can po I'll post that also in this video, just so that way, if someone wants to go down this route with the type of car that I have, at least they'll have a heads up uh, whether to do it or not. So now I'm going to just get my reinstall, put all the new products that came with it uh, in this and get it all together. All right, guys. So everything's back together. There it is. You can see the size of it. It pushed everything out a little bit more. It's okay. A little finicky getting everything in, but it's in. So I definitely have that whooshing sound. I'll give you a, a little sound test. So it does sound good. Performance-wise, we'll find out. I'm about to take it for a quick spin. All right, guys. So I just got back from a little test drive. Sounds great. It's exactly what I was looking for. Performance-wise, I'm going to say it's the same. But if you are going to uh, upgrade your diverter valve and you want that whooshing sound, you want the VTA style. So uh, I had first uh, DV+. Plus, that model there. And it was it, it, like the one I showed you when I was when I took it out 
Uh, the DV Plus first, and then I saw this one, VTA. If you want that whooshing sound, go with that one. You got it all. And I spent like, I think, 170 bucks or something like that. This is Canadian dollars. Uh, so, yeah, definitely great product. Uh, like I said, go fast bits, good quality stuff. I can't go wrong with them. So, uh, yeah, I hope you liked this video, and I hope it was informative. And uh, thanks for watching.